Hey everyone and welcome to Get Set Ma. Please do click on that red button and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to turn on notifications as well. We have been getting some queries regarding the process of sterilization as to how should you sterilize baby stuff like baby feeding equipment etc and what method should be used. Now sterilization mainly means to make something free of harmful bacteria and microorganisms so that object is clean and usable. Now why do we need to do this? If you think about it, there are bacteria and microorganisms all around us. But sterilization is important as newborn babies have a weaker immune system and hence are easily susceptible to bacterial or fungal infections and in the first six to eight months of their life they need better protection from harmful microorganisms. And the main things that are recommended for sterilization are baby feeding equipment like bottles and their accessories. If you are feeding a very young baby with a steel katori, that is a bowl, and a spoon, then some parents choose to sterilize that too. And if a breast pump is used for expressing milk, then the components of a breast pump need to be sterilized as well. Milk formula or breast milk is highly susceptible to bacterial contamination. Therefore, any surface, any surface that comes in contact with the milk starting at the preparation stage or expression stage to storing it and then feeding the milk should be sterilized. Now in this episode, we have decided to show you two of the most popular methods used for sterilization and speak about the pros and cons of each to help you decide what works for you. So let's start off with the traditional way of sterilization, which is what Rohini had employed. For this, you need a deep pan, which will be filled with water, a pair of tongs, and of course, the bottle or pump equipment to be sterilized. First, clean out everything thoroughly with soap and water. This includes the objects to be sterilized, the pan, and the tongs as well. Now place all the items to be sterilized in the pan and fill it with water ensuring that everything is immersed properly inside and ensure that there are no air bubbles formed. Bring this water to a boil and once it does then let it stay on a rolling boil for about five minutes. After that turn off the flame and let it cool down by itself. Do remember to shut off the heat in time as if you forget and if the water boils too long and evaporates, you may risk damaging some of the equipment. Now all you need to do is just shake off the excess water and air dry all the items by laying them on a clean cloth or a thoroughly clean plate. Avoid using a paper napkin or a towel to wipe off the water as that can contaminate the bottle and pump components. If you are not using the bottles or the breast pump equipment immediately, then you can place all this in a large clean dry box or food grade Ziploc bags and refrigerate it or store it in a clean and dry corner or place in your house. Now the pros for this method are one, it can be done using things that you already have in your house. You can just keep a separate pan for this process in the kitchen that is used only for this. Number two, it's inexpensive. And number three, none of this stuff takes up any extra space. The cons are, one, you have to ensure that the pan you are using is thoroughly clean and hopefully no one has used it for anything else in case you cannot keep a separate pan in your house. Number two, it might be a bit cumbersome to get everything together for the sterilization process every time. Number three, you have to remember to shut off the heat at the right time, otherwise you risk burning or damaging the baby items being sterilized. Now we move on to the next method which uses an electric steam sterilizer and this is the method that I had used. And for this, you need the electric steam sterilizer, a pair of tongs is optional and the equipment to be sterilized. All you have to do in this is as before, clean out the bottles or the breast pump components you want to sterilize with soap and water. Pour some water in the base of the sterilizer right here. Place everything in it. Switch it on. And in a few minutes, it'll be done and the light will go off. After 
after this, follow the same process we did with traditional sterilization. Shake off the excess water. Do not use a towel to wipe these. And if you are using it straight away, then go ahead and put everything together. Otherwise, place all this in a large, clean, dry box and refrigerate it or put it away in a clean place as we mentioned before. You can even use food grade Ziploc bags for the same. And I would sterilize the breast pump components in bottles after every use. Now the pros for this method are number one, it's very convenient and easy to use. So if you are going to be using it frequently, then it could seem like a good idea. Number two, the sterilizer stays with the baby stuff separate from any other house stuff or kitchen equipment. The cons are number one, it is an additional appliance, so it will take up extra space. Number two, it is not too expensive, but it is an additional expense. And number three, unless the sterilizer has uses beyond just sterilizing, then you will mostly end up using it for a short span of time, only for the first few months of baby's life. There are many sterilizers now which come with multiple purposes, so we recommend that you keep a lookout for them. And that's it. That concludes our episode on traditional boiling sterilization versus using an electronic steam sterilizer. Neither method take up too much time really and each method has its pros and has its cons. And you can decide what you would like to do according to your need and your requirement. Do check out our video about caring for and sterilizing baby clothes and diapers as well and go ahead and check out the links below for products that we find useful and please share and like this video too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.